All right, I am very pleased to be joined by Cameron Lawson uh, of Queens. Cameron, first of all, where are you calling from and how are you doing? Uh, thanks for having me. Um, I'm calling from Kingston, Ontario. Quarantining, COVID, everything going on. Just trying to deal with it, not get bored, live my life still. What have the last few months been like from a training standpoint and then getting the news in the last week, week and a half that Combine was canceled? Uh, yeah, it was just really disappointing. But you know, you keep training. Like I haven't stopped, I, you know, doing my best to stay in shape. And because I know eventually there will be a season at some point and you know, you got to get ready for that aspect of, uh, you know, joining a team or if there's potential of getting tested somehow whether it be through like a pro day or whatever, you know, you never know what my, what's going to happen. So my buddies across the street um, who are also on the Queens football team, they have a, a little gym in like this shed and uh, it's not much, but they have like a squat rack so you can bench and deadlift and, and, uh, and they have plates and all that stuff. So I've been able to do like core movements and like some accessory stuff. And then I just kind of do body weight calisthenics exercises at home and go on runs and just, yeah, do the best I can. What would you say defines you as a player? For the past two years, we've been playing a 30 front. And uh, as the all, like solo nose tackle on our team and like just the biggest defense alignment we have, like I had to be pushed into that spot, even if I didn't want to play it. Um, and, you know, like I, I just accepted the job and I love playing D tackle and, and everything that it is. And, you know, you know, this year I had to get like triple team sometimes, you know, take shots so other people could get, you know, plays or sacks or TFLs. And, you know, I'm just put that all aside and I just want to win with my team. And, you know, I'll do whatever it takes to get to that point, even if I have to sacrifice stats and, and you know, accomplishments and whatnot. Like it, what matters is, you know, the end goal, the championship and, uh, you know, playing with your friends and playing with these guys you spend four years with. So, yeah. Big national linemen are, are always an asset in the Canadian Football League. But why do you think your style of game suits the CFL? I'm just physically built to play D tackle, I believe. <laughs> so, um, you know, I can take two or three guys on, on the run. And I know that gets harder, obviously, as you go up in level. And that's something I'll still have to keep training for. But, you know, I know that I can build myself towards being, you know, a multifactorial player, you know, on both sides of the ball. And even if they want to move me to another position, like, you know, I can be versatile. I can move and play offensive line if they really want me to, you know, wherever they need me, I'm there to, to play and win. I'd like to compare myself to uh, Derek Wigan, uh, okay. former, former Queens boy. I remember coming in because um, I came in the year, a year or two after he left, like he just left. And um, so I heard all the stories about who he was and, and you know, what he was able to accomplish. And I kind of like, molded myself after the, like that style of play, especially because um, when we still had our defensive coordinator, Greg Marshall, who's the U of T head coach now, you know, he would give me all the stories about him and, and he would kind of like compare me to him a little bit on like how I should be playing and, and what I should be doing. And even though like not everybody was as good as him and obviously I couldn't perform right away to his level and still have to grow to where he's at right now. Um, He's somebody I definitely look up to and I've gotten a chance to talk to and, keep, and stay in contact with. And uh, yeah, he's really cool. Great player. Which character trait do you possess that you think will help you succeed in the CFL? What what character trait is most important? Uh, perseverance. Um, obviously, especially from going from one level to the next, you know, from high school to youth sports um, is a big jump. And from youth sports to professionals, an even bigger jump that you know you're never really ready for it until you're, you're there and you're experiencing it and uh you know that's that was a big thing i had in first year was just perseverance like you know knowing yeah you may not you're not the best player anymore on your team you know you're not this like highly recruited person anymore you're just a player on a team and uh you know it's going to be the same thing going into uh going into the cfl if i if i get drafted um is like, yeah, you're not the best player anymore. Like you're nowhere near the best player. You're just this like new kid coming in and you know, you have to prove yourself all over again. And I love that process. You know, I like being, you know, not highly like thought of and then coming up from out of nowhere and just, you know, beating the crap out of some people and earning my spot. Cameron, thank you so much for joining us. We're, we wish you the best of luck in the coming months. Stay well. Thank you, appreciate it.